Hello and welcome. Campbell here from Autodidactic. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. I thought I would do a live. It's been a week or so and I've got some uh, old photos of Perth, my, my hometown, which we're going to go through. And I've got a few other bits and pieces as well we can look at. So how is everyone? Is there anyone here is the first question. <laughs> now, this is the second time this has happened where I've started and and um, there's, there's not a lot of people here. It must be, I'm in the US at the moment still. It's 5 p.m. here. Um, so hopefully some people come and join. 17 Joy, how you go? All right. Yay, yay. You, you still like me. You like me. You really like me. Um, 17 Joy, how you going? John Chap. Oh, that didn't work. John Chapman, hello. Otto Chris Tofa. Much love to you, mate. Oh, hello. Sayonara is here. Vegan Plus is here. Hello. Anthony Michael LaRose. Hey, hey. Thanks for joining me. 42 of you here. So hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, I'm still in, in North Carolina in the USA. I've got Sunny Kim from Nebraska. Where is Nebraska? Is that north? North? West, I, I don't really, I, where is Nebraska? Let me know. Um, still working out where everything in the US is. It's a lot bigger than Australia. Um, thumb up likes should be, thumb, thumbs up likes. I oh, shouldn't be misunderstood, yes. Don't let me be misunderstood. Travis Walker, yes, I am doing well. You're back in Australia. Yes, I am. Been looking after myself. And being looked after. Um, oh, Sherry, uh, uh, Sherry, where I did see you say hello. Was it your birthday? Happy birthday um, for whenever it was. Hope you had a good day. Jamie Triple Eight, hello. Thanks for being here. Andy Sings, smiles from Sawtell. Where is Sawtell? Do tell. Haven't heard of that one. Hippy shake as usual. Thank you for being here. Tom Tom Lemon, hello. How are you going? Oh, it's supposed to be a like. Yeah, I thought that's what you were trying to say. <laughs> yes. Everyone, if you're here, there's a little thumb underneath, underneath the screen. Uh, see if you can make it change color. All we have to do is sort of click on it and, and see what happens. Mm. Sunny Kim, right in the middle, in the middle of the USA. All right, where was that? Oh, Nebraska, yeah, okay. So it's the Midwest, right? Is that where like the, it's cold and there's grass and plains everywhere? Little house on the prairie country. Three Fingers, how are you going? Um, apparently you're in North Carolina as well, I heard. Is that correct? Thanks for joining us. Uh, Andy, Andy sings, hi from 2,450. Are you in the future, Joy? What does the future hold for us? Let us know. Let us know. What are we in for? Clearly the world doesn't explode. There is the big conjunction coming up. Uh, that Well, there's two, isn't there? There's a, a first there's a solar eclipse and then a lunar eclipse, I think like two weeks later, happening over America. And um, I may be there. I, I, will, I will let you know. I will get footage if I am, but it's a fairly big deal here. Uh, they're, they're warning people to, there's lots of weeds, they're telling people to stock up on food and stuff for the, the lunar eclipse. And I think some of the towns near where it's happening are worried that they're going to get overrun. Very, very interesting stuff. JJ Diego, California. Wow. How is crazy California? Um, I was going to drop in, but I haven't made it this time. I, I won't be making the East Coast. I might, won't really be making any other states this time i'll i'll be back in australia um on the 14th geez what's that is that eight days no six days away oh my gosh um in six days i'll be flying back into australia for like a week and then i'm flying back to the us for three weeks and then i'm flying to europe to germany to travel for two weeks and then we're going to start uh the tartarian tour <clears throat> the the great what is it? The Balkans and Pyramids Tour. So uh, 
don't believe oh did i put a link below i think i might have i'll check it after the stream anyway if i haven't check it out if uh, there's still a couple of tickets left it's, it's it's getting very very low though so if you are interested get on it and um yeah i'll be in uh, Mullaney in Queensland, up near just inland from the sunny coast for the 14th, no, for the 15th and 16th, Friday and Saturday with Kelly Jones. Dale Holmes is going to be there and we're going to um, just have a get together, you know, around the fireplace, hopefully around the fireplace if if the Australian Communist government let us. Uh, then a, a show on Saturday and then uh, Saturday night, another hangout. So it's going to be very relaxed and very cool. So do join. Do you trust Max, Jeff, and the Anarchapolco? Um, <laughs> I met Max last last October. Uh, hung out with him. He was staying at the house, well, at Jason's, basically, where I was for a few days. And, yeah, man, I don't have a problem with him. We, you know, had a few good conversations um he's a good guitarist we hung out so i know there's a bit of bit of talk but but you now he's a good bloke as far as i'm concerned of course he's his house had just blown away in, in a in a hurricane so he was a bit a little bit under under you know stressed for the last couple of days but yeah man he was a good bloke. we had some good chats and you know me i don't judge people way too much judging going on man as far as i'm concerned um you know you know like like judging is basically especially when you're judging people like oh they're a bad person i mean what are you really saying you're saying i'm better than them because they don't believe what i do i mean because especially on the net this is all hearsay unless you've met the people right i mean there's a lot of hearsay right so i went out and i met people like max like jason like martin leakey um you know, and I'd rather do that and make up my own mind. Before I meet people, I'm never going to judge them because I don't know. It's all it's all someone else's opinion, right? So um, that's kind of my take on that. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, who was that? Halfwit, how are you going from the west of your neighbouring island? Um, what is <laughs> is that west of Australia or west of the USA? Because USA, well, they're both very big islands, but... Um, West of my island. Where does that mean? Are you in west west of what? Australia or USA? What is west of the USA? Hawaii? Are you in Hawaii or are you in Madagascar? Maybe I don't know. Bali, um, Sawtell under the vapor canopy. Oh, near Coffs Harbour in Australia. Sawtell. All right. So in New South Wales, uh, in the area where I've been recently, Manique in Wonderland. Bonkers. Rachel from the sunny coast. All right, are you coming to Mullaney? Are you coming? <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We're going to, you know, just hang out. It's going to be casual, you know, like uh, a lot more interaction, Q&A, that kind of stuff. You'll be able to, you know, spend time, meet some people that hopefully are near you, right? Make some friends that, that think the same as you. Um, there you go. Eric is stocking up on toilet paper for the great... X marks the spot crossing the lunar eclipse. Pat, how are you going? You're coming to you're coming to Europe, aren't you? You're coming to Bosnia, I believe. So I guess I'll see you in it's like 10 weeks now. Something like that. Jake M, what what up? What up to you, fella? Thanks for being here. Um, time is flying. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, how how is the quickening? Like seriously, how is everyone finding this this quickening? It is like everything that if I'm just doing something little, two hours, man. You start something that that you think will take fifteen minutes, two hours just disappears. Um, went out today, just you know, gosh, just went to get a belt really and some and some cash, and that was more than two hours. Then I got back, um, had some food. And it was suddenly, I had to run upstairs like, oh, my God, I'm going to be late for the live. Like, how's everyone else finding the time at the moment? It's just I'm having trouble getting stuff, like, a lot done. And believe me, it's, I'm not doing that much. It's it's crazy. A gigantic crocodile. Prussians, please. Oh, what does that mean? Prussians, please? What, as in that they're nice people that, that help you out? The Prussians? Prussia, Prussia doesn't exist anymore, does it? it? Used to be 
you're next to Russia, right? It's just over there, just at a P. Um, I'm not sure what Russia is today or what the countries are, but but I might be going to Russia maybe, maybe this year while I'm in Europe. It's, it's still a bit of a, a question, but um, I might be going next year, St. Petersburg. And also keep an ear out uh, for an announcement coming out up in the next week or so. There may be another Tartarian tour coming up because um, this first one is, you know, it's the first one we've run. It's been successful, almost gone. Uh, so we're doing another one. And you may have heard, um, I, I won't give you any hints, but if you heard it, someone, another YouTuber may have, have dropped some info. Uh, so it's not just going to be me. Kelly won't be on the next one, but it'll be, I will be. And a couple of YouTubers that you probably all know are coming along for the ride. So keep an ear and an eye out for that. Um, will I be coming around DC? Is that like Washington, DC? Um, no. Oh, that, that is on the East Coast, is it? What is, where's Washington? What state's that in? It's very confusing. You've got a state and a, and a city called Washington. Um, but no, I'm not going anywhere this time in America. I, I'm, I'm here to, um, it, it's kind of a healing health journey. So I'm being looked after well. I'm having ice baths and saunas. Uh, there's a wobble board here. You stand on it, wobbles. It's good for your lymphatic system. Um, having herbs and, and all, all that good stuff. Pretty good food. I haven't I haven't hit the, the fast food really yet, though I did have a donut yesterday, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, I'm having a fine time. Um, same as well, have been traumatized in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure what you were <laughs> answering there, but um, yeah, lots of people are traumatized, man. Last four years, how crazy. But we made it. We made it through. Chick <laughs> When I can speak. Cheech McDuck, how are you going? Good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. I like Max. His, his video is interesting. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people say he, he can be a bit negative, but I mean, a lot of people out there can, can be a bit negative, right? And I guess when you when you look into, you know, what's what's wrong with the world and who's running it and what they're like for, you know, Max has been on the scene I remember listening to Max before before he'd show his face. Like no one knew what he looked like. He didn't show his face for ages, like like years and years. Um, so he's been at it a long time. But you know, people are people, man. You know, just there's, there's no need to judge. We can just. And the thing is, if you don't like them, there's a really good solution to it. You don't watch them. That's it. You don't have to. You know, I, I, I think about this all the time. You know, people. You know, a lot of people lose. Obviously, not you, amazing people, but a lot of people lose it, right? When people put out videos and they go and they start, you know, putting all these comments up, and uh, and I just think, you know, back before the internet, did they used to watch TV, and like a show would come on, and and instead of changing the channel, they would just sit there and get ah triggered. Did, 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 is that what happened? Did they start ringing up the networks and telling them they had to change their programming? Because it's the exact same thing. Just in case you were wondering. Um, Joanna, how are you going? Been trying to contact me for the Laney event. Is anyone manning the website chat? Uh, good question. Kelly's on to it at the moment. Um, I've been um, <laughs> probably not doing my part. I've been trying to get all the stuff, the video and all that kind of stuff done um, and other bits I need to do. And like I said, the time's just 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 whipping away. So uh, that should be being manned, but if not, uh, you can send me an email. <laughs> I'll make sure I check it in the next few days. I'm horrible at that as well. Um, or, you know, Kelly and I are both on Facebook, or they're actually the best place is probably Facebook, Tartaria Australia, the group Tartaria Australia on Facebook, if you're on Facebook. If not, send me um, an email, um, autodidact, Dick Hishin. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's auto, autodidactic email at proton.me. Everyone should take a body language college course. Yeah, well, I agree, man. Learn how to read people, right? <laughs> it, it would solve many, many problems. Halfwit is from the west coast of New Zealand. 
Sounds cold. Oh, here's another one. John Bailey. G'day from New Zealand. There you go, guys. Uh, if you're looking for someone with, you know, similar thoughts, hook up and have some conversations, man. That's what we need to do. Get with our people. Find our tribe, as they say. Jay Smith, Columbus, Ohio. That's uh, Drew Carey, right? Um, country. That's all I remember from that show. At the end, they go, Ohio. Um, I met two of them today in a bar that allowed, that allowed smoking in between my banking. I am having a good day. Oh, okay. Nice. There you go. Yep. Kelly loves India because she could smoke everywhere. I'm, I'm being good. I'm having a, I'm, I'm, I'm slowing down. I'm having maybe two or three a day cigarettes. Most of them are actually just half. I'm only like having half of them. And I haven't touched the, the, the devil's, what do they call it? The devil's weed. Uh, since I've been here, uh, I, I did have some for one day, and before that, it was like two or three weeks. I'm pretty much a month off, off that. So I'm, I'm getting healthy. I'm not getting any, you know, any younger, as they say, but I am getting better. Frank Berg, how are you going? I guess you're the brother to ice. Uh, heard that one before. <laughs> um, Slippery Jones, hello, Joanne. Can I help with your inquiries? Oh, oh, Slippery Joins, sorry, not Jones, Joins. Um, I'm helping Kelly with, that, with this gig. Oh, okay. There you go. Joanna, ask Slipper, um, Slippery. Um, now, I'm guessing I have seen the chat, um, Slippery. Um, I am reading it. I just haven't been replying to anything. I've been. Man, I need like another five hours in my day. I need I need time like like you know like it was back in the nineties. Rach, sure am. All right, I'm I'm missing all these. I'm going to, I'm going to the bottom of the comments. I'm so far behind. Devil's lettuce. That's it. Devil's lettuce. <laughs> I didn't even know the devil ate lettuce. But there you go. Apparently, there's devil devil <laughs> devil's lettuce. If I can speak. Hey, this is a judicial notice recognizing 193 parliaments in the world. Um, speaking lies, so this makes a word. A, so this makes a word a word. Government is French. Oh, government is French for protect lies. Ah, oh, well, there you go. It's English for mind control, right? To govern the mentality, the ment, mind, govern, mind control. So there you go, man. Um, speak lies and control the mind. That's that's the government. And steal your money. That's pretty much it. Um, celestial bright consciousness is here. Yes, I agree. Lucy Salat, Salat, Salat. Is that, isn't Salat like the French martial art? Um, how you going? Yeah, yeah, man. The consciousness is here. But, you know, a lot of people don't see it because you, you get what you focus on, right? Uh, if you're going to focus on the bad stuff and who the shields are and, and why they're bad and who shouldn't be putting up videos and, oh, my God, it's the government's fault, you're not going to see the, the bright consciousness, right? But I agree, man. It's here. It is here. Yes, no. <laughs> I did that last time, that, you know, first time, you know, um, checking out the cuisine in, in USA and pretty much the, the local cuisine is fast food and I put on five kilograms in like three weeks. So I'm not doing that again, man. US Reset, thank you for being here. Uh, one of my channel members, thank you. And another one here, Donna Marie Farrell, another channel member, thank you for your support. Sherry Ives, hello, happy birthday if you didn't hear me before for whenever it was. Um, hope you had a great day. Oh, thank you very much. I hope so. Yes, do I? <laughs> Got shiny hair. I, I think, yeah. I had a bit of a, I'm definitely detoxing. I had a bit of a detox moment the other morning, but yeah, man, I'm feeling good. Time is flying. Yeah, Michael Silva. Um, isn't it? Like, the Silvio. I've been calling you the Silvo for like years, haven't I? Sorry. <laughs> Just... Just decided to read your name, De Silvio. How you going? Yeah, yeah, time, man. That's a quickening. There can be only one. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's so hard to get stuff done. Like, it, it's it's crazy. I first heard Devil's Letters from my son four years ago. I don't know the language. Yeah, yeah, I knew there was something about, you know, I don't, it comes from the church, no doubt. 
Mount Isa, how are you going? Thevo from Australia. Seven Clovers. Sorry, should I say Seven Clovers? Um, Rilo Ken, how are you going? I, I, I don't know what you what you mean by that. Demi Urge's delight. Ooh, the Demi Urge. Yes, yes. That, 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 is, that, is that another name for the Devil's Lettuce? Very good. Very good. He has many names, that, that guy, doesn't he? Well, that whatever that is. Uh, if you haven't seen the latest Tartaria Australia podcast, went up a few days ago, and uh, we have a big conversation about, you know, light, dark, God, devil, polarity, all that kind of stuff. Go check it out. And to me, all it is is good, right? Good is God with an extra O. Evil is devil without the D. It's a, Good and evil is just God and devil. It, it's polarities, right? Good and bad. I don't believe in, you know, a man with a beard sitting up on a cloud and, and, a, and a funny man with a pointy tail down below us. Um, you know, it's all, it's all what, and, and it's all what you believe anyway and what, what you focus on. The devil's lettuce and the devil's dandruff. Oh, don't want to smoke the devil's dandruff. B. Hendrix. I try to be, but, but I'm not very good at the guitar. <laughs> uh, um, you better believe the devil has a garden. Oh, well, apparently so does God, right? God's his Eden. What's the devil's? Just the den? Um, the electronic den, right? The E den. Hmm, interesting. Uh, who knows? Annette, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I am feeling well. 51 years young, right? Gosh, need to shave though. Um, the chemtrails are bad. Well, ignore them. Pretend it's manna or vitamin B falling from heaven. Um, I was just talking about, you know, in Australia, they have like the health, the health warnings on the cigarettes, basically saying you're going to die. It's like you get them and it's like smoking causes lung cancer and it'll have a picture of like these rancid lungs or smoking can make you go blind and there's like this guy with his eye and all these things and when they release those and of course it was you know it's for our benefit it's all for us uh they when they release them within the first couple of months smoking related um i don't think i don't know if it was deaths but definitely smoking related illness went up like 20 and 20 to 30 percent all right because people were now seeing it and it's all the self-talk like before they weren't seeing oh my god it, it causes lung cancer but as soon as they start seeing it, they, they're repeating to themselves, smoking causes lung cancer as they smoke, right? Dis-ease, everything is created. It's the placebo and the nocebo effect. It's it's all our fault. We cause everything, man. It's a us. Want to yell at someone, go find a mirror, as I say, because that's the only person that you're going to change. It seriously is. You can yell at people to change and let me know how that goes. Brisbane, Paul McCallum, how are you going? Are you coming to Mullaney? We'll be there, like, is it next weekend? I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Friday. So up there, 15th and 16th. Man, I'm going to be back in Australia in a week. How crazy. Borjax, nice to see you. Another channel member. Thank you for being here. Donna Marie, brainy cool, brainy cool, brainy cool. Yeah, man. Use your brainy cool. I agree. Um, Special Agent James. Oh, that sounds very, very impressive. Um, how are you going, James? Is it Bond? James Bond. Um, hello, hello, hello. Unknown source, US food is poison. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on where you get it, right? But um, fast food, but I mean, same in Australia. You know, Australian food now is, it's shocking. You really have to go and, and, and you know, be careful with what, what you're buying. All the fast food, that's everywhere. It's 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 all poison. Anything with food colorings, with sugar, anything with processed sugar is literally poison. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. But, you know, you don't have to have it. We do have choice. Um, well, everything's a lot. It's his story, right? Everything. It's a story. Like, like everything you look into you will find out that what you were told is not the truth. Look, in, look into the music industry, man. 
um, just be prepared to let go of some of your favorite bands because they're they're all creative, man. It's all. You no know, fashion is given to us. The schooling system is fake. Poly, I mean, it's everything. But if that's what you focus on, that's all you're going to see. So I wouldn't focus on that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, with, with the natives in Australia, you know, they got you know wiped out, and then we had the stolen generation, right? So it's like, how would you? You know, there's very be very easy for them to change the story, right? Because they, they just cut the the um the the word of mouth stories that get handed down. So there you go, Nikki. How you going? Awesome. I'll see you in Mulaney next week. I shall be there. All right, and hello to everyone else. Annette, thank you, thank you for um, uh, for watching. Yes, yeah, we always have good conversations, Kelly and I. I call myself the Kelly sounding board, basically. <laughs> Most of our conversations as she gets questions and throws them at me. B-Man, 4621, how are you going? Thanks for being here. Alan Kirk, how are you going? From Melbourne, oh, hope you're doing well. Melbourne, um, the, the communist state of Australia, though all, you know, being in America, like, you, you, you know, in Australia, you kind of think because, you know, the narrative is, oh, we're so free, you know, it, it's, you know, Australia, land of the free, everyone else is worse than us. It's, man, the US is so much freer. In Australia, you can't, you buy a block of land, you can't do what you want with it. Like, you can't. You have to build to regulations. You have to put a certain kind of house on there. If you want to put up a house for, for someone else or that you can't, for your parents, whatever, you can't. You know, the bloody councils will get in there and they'll, they'll be fining you for everything, charging you for stuff that they don't even do. It's like Australia, man, is a complete 100% nanny state going very quickly towards communism, is, in my opinion. It really is. Like, you get out of Australia and look back and it, it's, it's, it wasn't like that in the 80s. Like, it's gone downhill fast, man. But... um. But at least in America, they, they treat you more like adults. And I'm not saying America's, you know, not got its problems, but um, it's definitely, to me, it's a lot freer. Uh, and that's basically because, you know, the way it's run, the government's different. You know, um, states or counties sort of run themselves, right, so that they do it to try and do the best for their people. We in Australia, man, like, they literally look at the people as, as their source of revenue. Like, that's it. We know all the cops in Australia, they have, they have quotas. Every week, go out, you know, get your 20 grand's worth of fines before you come back at the end of the week. You know, go out and steal from the people that you claim to be protecting. It's just, it's just crap. But anyway, um, but there are solutions, which I'm going to have to get into uh, in the near future, learn all about the law and that. There's definitely ways to get around it all, it, and they're out there. Uh, but, you know, so focus on solutions, right? Solutions. Um, quotas in the US, yeah, also, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of the cops, though, man, like, especially my last com uh, my last trip, we did a lot, a lot of traveling. And every time I saw a cop that pulled someone over, I'd ask the person driving, what are they, what do you reckon they're pulled over for? And every single time they went, oh, probably just helping them. In Australia, we have mandatory stops. They block the road off. They will block the road off, and every person who wants to go down that road, as soon as you turn into it, because you can't get back out again, you have to go through a checkpoint. They'll check all your licenses. They'll do breathalyzer tests, all of which is illegal, by the way. And it's all just so that they can steal money from you. But do we get better roads? Of course not. Do we get anything from it? No. Where do you think that money goes? Um, road pirates, man. They're, they're the, um, the highwaymen, right? Right, that's just the highwaymen, right? Stand and deliver your money or your life, right? Yeah, all that. But um, let's focus on solutions, right? Um, all right, so uh, what have I got today? Um, I do have some pictures of Perth. All right, let's start there. Let's open this up. And now this is Perth, Western Australia, where I spent... Oh, gosh, 30 years or more? More. 
37 years of my life. Uh, so here we go. Let's check out Old World Perth. All right. So this is Wellington Street. And this is a street sweeper. Apparently it says that he's sweeping away horse manure, but lots of cars around. But this is 1929. So got all the old style cars. Um, and they did, they used to all be convertibles by the looks of it, but, you know, the old sort of Model T looking for um, cars. And, of course, massive building in the background. I'm just trying to think Wellington Street. Is that where the train station is? I'm trying to get my... I'm not sure, but anyway, a massive building in the background, a man sweeping horse poo and lots of old cars. This is... So this is 1906. So Perth was um, declared as a city. Uh, let me see. Can I remember? Um, 19, I mean, sorry, 18, I think it was before Melbourne. I think it was like 19, uh, 1826, 27, something like that. I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments or let everyone else know because I can't see them at the moment. Um, but this is basically the Esplanade. Right, so this is, you know, 70 years, right, after they turned up. And, of course, in Australia, the story is there was nothing there. They didn't know where any resources were, no manufacturing, nothing, no roads, you know, massive state with not much water, uh, all resources, all food, really, you know. Obviously, all the meat had to be brought in, all the kangaroos around, but um, not a lot of the food in Australia is, is at least, it doesn't look like, European food, so that there was no food source, no water. But in 70 years, they had this built out, right? Like that, that's kind of impressive, right? They've got to make brickworks, they've got to make the mortar, they've got to make the tiles or the tin for the roof, they've got to make the iron, they have to make the glass, then they need the, the roads, you know, they have to mine a lot of this stuff, they need the kilns to make bricks, they have to have transportation, they have to have warehousing facilities and they need all the people with the skills to put it all together and to design it. You know, it's, it's a lot um, in 70, 80 years and, and they've come up with this. So, uh, you can see this is a completely built-out city at this point. So what do you think? Is that possible? Um, Adelaide Terrace with the terrace houses. Oh, there you go. 1905. Okay, so we've got dirt roads down here. We've got right these these you know power poles. I'll call them that we see a lot, but it, can't see any wires coming off it, right? So what actually is this? You know that we see them in a lot of pictures, um, but but what are they? Massive warehouse here. This is the Swan River. So Adelaide Terrace. Um, goes down so this would be i guess it's part of the esplanade i'm guessing that's that's the direction it'd be facing which would make all this south perth is that right i don't know what that inlet is like the perspective doesn't look right to me it looks like there's another inlet there someone's looking a bit weird but anyway adelaide terrace um yeah look at this like, where are the wires to this pole and you get all these nice well-built terrace houses, this huge warehouse. And down here, these houses, you know, they look decidedly different, don't they? Smaller, they've got corrugate iron roofs. They don't have any of the trimmings. Like these are all nice. They've got little windows and rooms up here. They've got all the, um, the ironwork. Is this uh, Adelaide Terrace is Perth, isn't it? Not Fremantle. I think a couple of the, these photos are going to be from Fremantle. I was just thinking that's very Fremantle and this, really. But anyway, Adelaide Terrace, Perth, 1953. Um, this is the uh, Ahern's. Ahern's used to be the the um, the big department store in WA. It's gone now, of course, taken over by, you know, big multinational companies. Some cool cars in the, in the foreground, though, but... You can see these buildings again, right? Like they're not built like the buildings we see today. Now I think it has, oh my gosh. 
Ah, uh, I always seem to have this issue, hello, with my pictures, man. They just keep freezing for some reason. Let's see. Oh, here is one for that the Aussies may remember. Am I still online? Hello to everyone. Hay Street Mall. Um, you're seeing world population 4 billion as most. Oh, yeah, yeah. World population. Much, much, much less than they tell us. Um, is fallen drawn? I'm not sure. Hello, Nessa Neri. Silver Surfer. Yeah, that picture. Yeah, did that picture look weird to you? Um, I've got another picture. I haven't. I, I was going to get it up, but like I said, man, the quickening, the quickening's here. And um, but there's an old map of Perth. I'll get it up for for another live and show. And it just looks very weird. Like nothing. It, it's, it looks like a different city almost to me. But let's see where we. Um. Oh my gosh. Hang on. What's going on? Sorry. That picture is not loading. What is going on? Okay, let me try this again. Let's see, is it gonna work? What's going on here? Doesn't wanna, I'll see if I can get the next picture up. Oh my God, what is going on? Ah, okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to open the pictures and, um, okay, finally it's giving me an error, don't give me that error, I don't care, all right, here we go, I think we're back on track, so, share screen, okay, what I was going to show, let's see if it works, yeah, does anyone remember this? Oh my gosh, it's frozen again. Um, but does anyone remember this? ANSET. All right, that used to be an Australian airline, ANSET. And this, I remember the Perth airport when it was like this. And literally, this was it. You would come in, you'd just walk out on the grass, on the tarmac, and then up into the plane. There was none of this checking you, you know, and, and checking your bags and making you walk through scanners and all this kind of crap. And it was actually fun and you had leg room and it was almost luxurious to go traveling, right? Um, that's all changed, man. Now it's all we are the criminals. That's how they treat us. And that's all got to do with, let me stop sharing that because it froze again. And that's all got to do with, it all started Back in the, the night, well, actually, I guess, started at the Munich Olympics, but the whole, you know, terrorist threat, if I can say that on YouTube, because um, they were trying to get us, convince us that people were just walking around with bombs in their bags and leaving them next to people and, you know, throwing <laughs> all this stupid stuff. And that's what resulted in all the, the you know, the over-security we have today. and. The only reason it worked is because people bought into the lie, man. Like if, if no one buys the lies that they spin, they don't go anywhere. But of course, people people the late love to believe that everyone else is bad, right? Not them, right? All humans are bad except except me, right? Um, strange. Okay, this is 1894 in Perth, and this is Barrick Street. We've got like a little just dirt roads, but got a street light coming out of the mud. A uh, little bridge here. Very, you know, this is what you'd expect to see. These kind of houses, pretty small, tin roofs. But we still have these big buildings in the background, right? Big three, four-story buildings. Uh, Barrack Street. So this is, so that was, this is what they're telling us, that this is Barrack Street 1894. I'm not sure which one they're talking about. I'm guessing it's this front one, which we can't really see. And this is the same street, 1937. Like, so there you go, right? The tram, full tram set up in their cars, wall to wall buildings. And this was 40 years earlier, whichever street it was, this one or this one. Right, they could only do a picket fence, but in 40 years they got this. 
you know, with all their infrastructure under the ground for the tram. So there's just such an issue with the, these photos. And, of course, all we know about these photos is that someone's written a title and a date. We don't really know where they were from. Okay, so this looks more like the Esplanade in Perth. Uh, so this is South Perth. This is basically the Narrows Bridge goes over here now. This is the Swan River, uh, the old tennis courts and stuff. Horse and cart. So I haven't got a date on this one, but that looks like horse and cart. So, you know, around 1900 or before. And this... All that is left of this is just this front bit, which is now called Barrack Street or Barracks Arch. And Barrack Street is called Barrack Street because this used to be at the top of it, uh, which they call a barracks. Now this, this is the inside of a Star Fort Citadel. If you look at Star Forts on the inside of them, they always have these red brick buildings that are shaped in like um, mostly their hexagons. You do get octagons, some squares, some pentagons, but they're always the same. They're always like three stories tall, windows all around, red brick, and they're inside of the star fort. They're like the center of the citadel. And Perth had one. Here's a picture in, I think this is the 60s. Got an old Holden Ute here. Right? Uh, it went through a few different incarnations. At the start, it was used as a fort. And the government got in there and they were using it for offices or something. And then they, they knocked it over, right? So this is an older picture. And this is an interesting one. Looks old now. Is there glass in that window? I don't know. But you can see there's dirt roads going up to it. So they've built this. Right? And, it's, and it's pretty, it's pretty, or well, was a pretty large structure um, with dirt roads. So they haven't even decided to make a proper road or warehouse, right, to keep all their bricks and things in to build this. I mean, they could have taken the warehouse down. Why would you? But this is one of the things, right? They're always on dirt roads. Like to make it more efficient and to, to make sure you're not getting bogged and all this and to make it easier for horses carrying, you know, pulling carts, you would make good roads first, wouldn't you? Because the roads need to be there anyway once it's finished. But they always seem to forget about the roads. Uh, so this is what's left of it. Literally, right? They knocked the whole thing down and they just left this. Little archway, the front door. That's obviously uh, this front bit here. And that's now called Barracks Arch. And, now, and then this is, I think they knocked it over in the 70s. Now there's a freeway that goes down through here, which I think I have a photo of. Yep, there it is. All right, they left that saying they put a free. That's the re that's that was their excuse for knocking it over. That they needed to build a freeway right there, right there. They couldn't do it anywhere else, uh, and they built the freeway, and just left us that little archway. Very sad. This is Broford Street Bridge, 1895. So again, you know, we're you know, 60, 70 years from founding date. We have a big bridge here. We have big cathedrals. We've got, you know, water wall buildings down the street. We've got these old, you know, what are these? They'll tell us they're gas lamps. Well, where's the gas bottle? Uh, there's no little door in here that's hiding a gas bottle. So if they're gas, then we're talking a huge plumbing system, right? Huge gas plumbed system and then what happens when they change them to electricity how do they do that i mean they, they might be able to run through the conduits but how are they getting the electricity up here and who's laying all the stuff at you know these lamps these lights are big question right 1934 the embassy ballroom a bit of an art deco building very cool and has this frozen again oh my god it has Man, I'm going to need a new picture display thing. But um, <laughs> how is everyone? Um, they like to leave the arch. Yeah, yeah, right. The arch the, the, or the arc. The archon. 
the arch for the, or, you know, we have it everywhere, the archons, the archbishops, all this kind of weird stuff, the ark, right? Um, um, adapt 2030. Yeah, this flat. Adapt 2030. Hello. Oh. Well, do we know what it is? I'm pretty sure it's.
All right. Well, I just completely lost the internet. <laughs> um, hello to everyone who's still here. Um, yeah, everything just completely disappeared. So I'm not sure what happened there. So sorry about that. Thank you for 108 of you who are, who are still here for staying and watching a blank screen. Um, <laughs> yeah, so how is this? Uh, have I been freezing much? How how's it been? Like, is is the connection good? Uh, I'm just wondering if that's why the 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 pictures were freezing as well. Let me know. Is my sound good? Have I been freezing? Um, general consensus: talking to strangers and noticing the system. So that's good. Yeah, I, I agree, man. We're definitely, you know, on our way to somewhere better as far as I can uh, work out. They don't like people that alien, talk, yeah, star force, I know, right? <laughs> if we wish, <laughs> yes, I'm back. Oh, 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 my God, now there's a billion, billion comments. Um, yeah, so how is the connection? Have I been freezing? Um. Let me know. Has it been good apart from that big, big freeze? Solid till it dropped. Nice. Five by five. All right. Yes. Good on you, Verity. Just talk amongst yourselves. You know the, you know the drill. <laughs> so, Nara, hello. Oh, and you're actually a, an admin. Jeez, that must have been a long time ago. Hi, Nara doesn't normally come up and, and chat, but she is at the moment. Um. Oh. Oh. And Tom saying it was freezing. So what is it? Was it freezing or was it not? Anyway, let me know if if it's a bad connection or not. I think we're good now. Um. No. No freeze. Minor blips. Bro. Cool. Everything's working fine. All right. Just froze for a few minutes. Okay. Well, I'm back. Thank you all for staying with me. Do appreciate it all. Uh, it all, you all, you all, not it. Um, all right, let's see if this. I'm going to see if I've got a different picture player. I don't even know where we were. Let's have a look. What can I open this with? Open with. Um, I think I'm just using photos. Ah oh, well, let's see how we go. So about an hour in, uh, share screen. All right, we're back. So this is <clears throat> Government House 1901 um, taken across the garden. So this is obviously Government House in the back again. 70 years after they turned up and not, there was nothing here, guys, nothing. And they didn't know where anything was, or so the narrative goes. They didn't know where the clay pits were. They didn't know where to find the lime. They didn't know where to find the iron ore. That there were definitely no iron ore mines. Um, obviously, there's a lot of beaches, but you know they didn't have any glass manufacturing. They didn't have anything. Roads, skilled workers, apart from the, the very very skilled convicts that built most of old Australia. And they'll whack this up in set within 70 years. And I find this one an interesting one too, just because you know, there's clearly a lot of trees that are fairly close to this building. I mean, is that really how they would do it? Or, or do you think they'd clear a bigger space around the building? And then, of course, down here, they're, they're planting more trees. And I'm guessing these are all European type trees that they've brought with them. But not the best picture, you can't say that much, but this is a huge building. And they whacked it up, apparently with convict labour or something. Now, this is the tea rooms, 1919. Again, just look at this stained glass. Like, all the way along, like, everything is just made so, like, so much. And this is the other thing, right? Like, look what they would do for windows and doors. What do we do today? Mass manufactured, you know, low, very low quality um, stuff that you have to go to the hardware store and, and pay an arm and a leg for. But 
They used to be able to build these buildings and obviously build them easily because they're everywhere, right? The stained glass stuff's everywhere. And yes, my photo player has frozen again. Okay, this is going to become a habit, right? Um, the Swan Brewery, uh, bought, of course, by Alan Bond, right? The, the Thief of Perth. Um, he's, of course, the guy who put the money up for the America's Cup defence in 1983. Uh, but he owned the Swan Brewery. He, he owned most of Perth, really, in the 80s. You know, he built the, the first um, high-rise in Scarborough Beach. It used to be a really nice beach for the people, but, you know, he, he had the money and knew enough people that he changed the planning because you weren't supposed to be able to build them there. He built this massive high-rise, which is very dated now. And, um, you know, for what is the question? He's dead now. There's no one going, oh, my God, he was such a good guy. Like, these people who do this stuff, like, Talk about egos. Like when, when they die, people don't sit there and go, I'm so glad they were here. Look at how they've improved this city. They go, what a wanker. Money hungry. Like that's, that's, that's the way it goes, man. So I don't know why these people even do what they do. Doesn't make sense to me. But this is the Old Swan Brewery right on the water here. This is Kings Park behind. Uh, this is just a small photo, so not the best um, you know, very small pixels. But this is an old world red brick building as well. And here's another shot of it. And again, right, dirt roads. What is, why wouldn't they put proper roads in first? I mean, when they build today, it's the first thing they have to do, right? Make sure that they've got good access, you know, good roads that they can get their machinery up and down easily. And then they have the warehousing and then they spend time on the foundations. And the, before you do that, you can't even start the building. But not back then. And, and back then they could do it right on the water's edge. It's literally on the water's edge and, and it's a man-made brick or, you know, stone edge. Um, and, and it's much, you know, the, the quality of the build is much higher than we get today. But... They can't do it today, and they're doing doing this on dirt roads. Uh, that's just that looks like a painting of what Perth looked like from Burswood Island or Burswood, looking across the Swan. But of course, that's a painting. This is what they replace all the the buildings that they knock down with. All right, brutalism. This is 1972. That's a mini moke. Look at that. Be worth a lot of money if you hung on to that one. Um, 1972. Like, this is what they can build compared to what they were building, you know, 70 years earlier, right? Crazy. Like, and then they tell us that we're evolving. And again, uh, sorry, everything's freezing today. Everything, <laughs> we'll get through these pictures, we'll have a bit of a chat and then I might end it because um, everything's gone a bit weird. I guess I'm talking about the wrong topics, right? Um, they don't like me talking. Those who control the web, the webs, the interwebs. Uh, the courthouse and the drill hall. So on the right is the courthouse and this is the drill hall. This just looks like it's up in the north end of the city, up near Barrack Street somewhere below, or even, you know, just below King's Park. Got our barrister here, our judge, you know, who sits in judgment of everyone while he breaks the law. Got our man in a hat. Uh, but again, we get this juxtaposition, you know. This is this is a, a masonry, you know, brick, uh, brick masonry building. Got the columns here. And then along the edge here, they've just got a wooden fence in between the two buildings here, like a little wooden gate, right? But we, we know that when you go into a lot of cities, these things are all wrought iron, right? But not here. They've, they can do the masonry building, but then they can just build out of wood, really. So it just looks like this is built by different people who built this. Different, different standard of... 
of everything, different, definitely different standard of you know, building, you know, of quality. Um, but even just the skill, the tech, it, it's different. All right. And this is clearly a photo opportunity. Now uh, the Esplanade, 1906. And again, right, Perth is hot. Perth is hot. Not as hot now as it used to be. It's a bit more humid now, but but hot, man. You know, we get up to the over 40s, which is, you know, above 100 in Fahrenheit. And every, everyone in this picture, even the kids, in suits or, you know, dresses, big dresses for the ladies. Like, why would you do that? Is there something going on with the weather? Like, because it's it seriously, you know, we see it in all the old photos, right? All They're always in suits and the ladies in multi-layered dresses and not just suits. Like, there's the men who got, like, waistcoats under their suit. Like, they're, like, three-piece suits. I mean, in Australia, it doesn't make sense. Uh, here's one of the buildings that's been knocked down. This is Elder House uh, back in the 30s by the looks of it. And as you can see, by this time, it's just wall-to-wall -wall buildings. And Perth is the most isolated city in the world too, by the way. You know, so to get supplies in, the only way to get them in is by ship. Like, to, to go, it's at, still today, in a car, it takes you about a week to drive across Australia. Uh, is that right? What, I think we did it in, it's probably longer. I think we did it in like, six days and that was almost dry that was uh rotating drivers so pretty much driving 24 hours a day so imagine back then you know the slow cars when they were building these right horse and cart take you months to get across australia and then you you got no water oh, you got to take all your water and your food with you so everything's basically got to come in by ship but again right in sort of 70 years, 60, 70 years, they had this all built out, starting from scratch. No mines, no quarries, no skilled tradesmen, no transportation system, no warehousing system. Uh, but they did it, right, to, to a standard of quality which is far beyond what we can do today. So that's the story, you know, if you care to believe it. Esplanade Hotel, Perth, 1934. Again, just, you know, we see these features everywhere, right? The, the turrets, the pointy tops, and, you know, the witch hat roofs. Of course, they've put a little cross up there. But that stuff's easier to change, right? It's much harder to build this building, but always the same features, always the same style and look. You've got the arched doorways down here, always oversized, and the same kind of column and colonnading, the same kind of fencing. But again, they build this in the background, and you can see up here, this is all, I don't know if it's stone, but it's definitely, you know, probably, it's probably geopolymer, right? Like cast cement or stone of some kind uh, fencing for this balcony and here as well. But down here, they, they can just manage a wooden gate. All right. And yes, it has definitely frozen again. Okay, oh my God. Let's see how we go here. Um, okay, go away. So my computer is not, ah, uh, it's not helping. Um, All right, did that work? Oh my God, what is going on here? Oh, it's going to freeze again. What's going on? Okay, guys, bear with me a minute. My computer is freaking out. Uh, thank you all for being here. Ch chat amongst <laughs> yourselves for a minute. Um, oh, come on. Have I frozen? Have I frozen? Yep, I've frozen. Ah, uh, gosh. Okay, let's see what we can do. God. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
Okay. Bloody hell. Okay, am I back? Yes, freezing. Oh, whoops, has that been there for a long time? <laughs> um, keeps crashing. Uh, YouTube keeps crashing several times a day. Okay, didn't freeze everywhere. Where are my Perthians at? Who is from Perth? We got you. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, I'll try and get through these last couple of photos. We've almost got through this little... Oh, actually, no, we haven't. <laughs> There's a lot left. Um, okay, I'll do a couple more and then I'll just a bit, have a bit of a chat and maybe we'll, we'll cut this one a bit early and I'll have to do a part two because um, we seem to be... Oh, gosh, that's frozen again. We seem to be annoying the the interweb gob, gods today, the... The YouTube, not that I want to call them gods. Is that going to work? What is going on here? Okay, maybe I'm going to leave the pictures out because they're not even working anymore. All right, let's have a bit of a chat. Um, we're over an hour, so we'll have a bit of a chat. Uh, just okay, just lost the pics. Thank you, Anara. Um, time is tied to temperature. Think frozen in time. Temperature is a type of global control or Google control. Um, temperature, yeah, well, that's interesting, right? Like the ice wall, we see, we see, you know, the maps change uh, sort of 500 years ago from a green Sahara and um, non-frozen, you know, poles or, you know, inner and outer circles, whichever way you want to look at it to frozen and there is a question you know we always had seasons so who knows yeah yeah um frozen in time have we got any other temperature related time things let me know in the comments um cat 14 youtube likes to delete my comments instantly yeah yeah they're obviously not happy with me i've been putting up a bit of content as you probably noticed lately i've been trying to do a bit of work every day. It's it's it seems to take a long time though, man. Like it's not not that, that any anything's hard or I'm having issues, but I just it takes you three times as long to do anything today, right? Because we're losing time. So he said, "What's the temperature to do with losing time?" Ooh, moderate. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Facades are everywhere. Thank you for letting us see some truth. Oh, my pleasure, Chuck. Hey man, everything is a facade, really. It's all a story. It's all a covering, right? Because all the world is a stage, right? As uh, William Shakespeare apparently said, uh, or was he Francis Bacon? And, you know, he was supposed to be the greatest playwright, one of the, 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 the people who shaped the English language. Um, you know, their spells, right? Which is a bit of a clue there. And apparently he couldn't spell his own name. Apparently if you, on his documents, as far as when he was signing plays and that, he spelled his name something like 17 different ways, like the Shakespeare. So he, the dude couldn't spell, like the dude, right? Maybe that was the spell. Right? It's all spells. As long as you believe it. Spells only work when you believe them. That, that's an interesting point, right? Like If you don't believe any of this stuff, doesn't affect you if you don't put your focus on it, it it doesn't affect you if you you know what we where energy flows is <laughs> um where attention goes energy flows so whatever put your your attention on you're giving energy to i remember everyone was saying fake news fake news you know two or three years ago you know, a lot of people have just worked it out that the news was just lies but now many people have gone back to the news or if they haven't they they believe that you know, social media is is not fake or something like this, where, you know, most of it is. It is. I got to tell you, I'm not. You know, if I was fake, I, I'd, I'd be up to, you know, a couple of hundred thousand subs by now, right? Like, but they tell me that I get, I don't know, like 500 new subs every month, yet it takes me probably, I don't know, over three months, easy, three to six months just to go up a 1,000 subs when I'm getting 500 new ones, you know, I'm, it's just crazy. 
But anyway, you get that, right? But, you know, the other thing is it is all a show. So I don't know that any of the numbers that I see or get are true or have any relevance to anything. It's just a number on the screen. It's just like when we look at the old pictures, like the dates were given that they just – it's just a number on a, on a picture. That's all it is. It doesn't actually mean anything. It's like all the old maps that we have. They've got the wrong um, tropics. The Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer are from two ages back, like 5,000 years ago, right? Which, again, interesting, right? 5,000 years ago, tropics, stars. How do we have the same stars? In 5,000 years, if we're shooting through space on a ball at over 600,000 miles a minute or whatever it is, right? No parallax, right? It doesn't make sense. It's all just a game. We're, we're, so, you know, we've got to experience something, right? Like if we're not here, then what are we doing? We're just I – mean, it's, it's this question of what is heaven? You know, it's like when you die, you'll go to heaven and you can be with God and and, and what? What do you do? You're not going to experience anything. Do you just exist in some garden? Are you just floating in a sea of energy? I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun, right? So to experience anything, we need to come into a construct. And that's where we are at the moment, I believe, in a construct. Um, but it's for our benefit, so we can have some fun. As long as we don't take it too seriously, which too many people do. I, I mean, it's just life, guys. It's just life. What is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen to you down here is the only thing that is definitely going to happen to everyone. Have you ever thought of that? Because that's true, right? The worst that can happen is death. What is everyone down here going to experience at some point? Death. So what are we all worried about? That's my that's my point of view anyway. I always like Campbell's. Shows with logic say, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope what I just said was logical. There is a logical song, a logical song. Um, that's a very good song. It's not very logical. Um, uh, deleting comments, yes, manipulation, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing. Um, Verity, Verity, you're, you really want to get, get some drinks into you, don't you? Um um da, 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 hippie shake black 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 dack how you going who's scotty someone i've, I've missed something da, da, da. oh rob osborne original sand groper all right all right i'm obviously way back in the comments I'm, so i'm going to the bottom i'm gonna see who's down here okay Hello, legs. This is heaven. We're already here. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, this is heaven and this is hell. Just it's all to do with perspective. Uh, and we can see that, right? You can you can look around. Some people are literally having the time of their life, right? They're in heaven. And some people are, are pretty much in the opposite place. But it's all created, man. It's all what you give your attention to. It's just a game, right? Bill Hicks. It's just a game. Sometimes people down here and they tell us, they come down here and tell us it's just a game and we kill those people. <laughs> but it is, it's just a game. Again, what's the worst that can happen, right? Yep, we don't know for sure. So so why why deal in absolutes? You know, people love to deal in absolutes. This is the truth. That's the, that's not the truth. That's a lie. I'm right. You're wrong. This is good. That's bad. No, it's just all a different perspective. It's all an opinion. It's all an experience. You know, you don't you don't have to buy into it if you don't want to. People forgot to enjoy the ride. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Turn the light around. Yeah, man. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, I mean, light can penetrate the dark, right? But the dark can't penetrate the light. So what are you worried about if you're a good person and, and you're full of light, which we all are because, you know, atoms, all this quanta and that are basically light. Um, but if you're of, of the light, as we say, of the good, then what are you worried about? Dark can't penetrate the light, but the other way, it can happen the other way around. All truth sits within, yeah, man. And your truth is your truth. 
Like, and it doesn't matter if someone else's truth is, is different to yours. In fact, that's awesome. Imagine if everyone you ran into, like every person you ever ran into in your whole life agreed with everything you say 100%. You would be bored out of your mind. You wouldn't even be able to have a conversation. Yet people run around and, and try and make everyone agree with them. Like, why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Loads of channels have subs being unsubbed for the truth, not being revealed. But we are, yeah, uh, yeah. You can see it in stats. Like when you go through the stats, like you'll see, like in my stats, I haven't seen other people's stats, but yeah, like you'll just have days where you'll just suddenly lose like a thousand subs in one day. And then every other day for the last, you know, month and a half, two months, nothing. You're, you're getting subs and then bang, you just lose a thousand in a day or something. It happens all the time. That's because they're just going in and unsubbing people with all their bots. Um, but I mean, again, we don't. Uh, I don't even know if those stats are true, right? What's that saying? There's there's three types of lies, lies, damn lies, and statistics. Right? It's just a way of manipulating the truth. So it's it's not really got to do with, with that. I don't pay a lot of attention to it. I figure if I put out my stuff, if it's meant to be there and meant to be heard, then, then people will find it because it, this place is energy. It's not solid. We're not dealing with with you know actual you know something solid and like when i put stuff out you know all these people see it right it's all energy i'm putting out an energy i'm putting out a certain frequency that will be attractive or at least magnetic if you want to put it that way to people on the same frequency that's all it is it's not nothing's physical down here and if nothing's physical then it's clearly some kind of simulation as well but just by the way right Radiate that positive, vibrate high and brilliance you will find. I agree, man. Yep. Create your own world. And if no one believes you and calls you an idiot, well, who cares? Who cares? Go find someone, someone more on your wavelength, right? It's, it's in our language, man. You know, find people on your wavelength. I just didn't vibe with that person. Like It's all through our language or that, that everything is frequency. It all is. Yes, that is what Crowley said. Well, so they say. So they say. I, I can't confirm nor deny that. I, I was not around with Crowley. I've never heard him say it. Um, there were books written, no doubt, but I mean, you know, books are written by someone. We don't know that the, the author is just a name that's been written on it, right? This is the thing. We've got to question everything. And, and, you know, do as thou as thou wilt. I know then you know, they talk about J C uh what's the name? Jay Z and all these people and blah 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 blah. If you don't like that, don't put your focus on it. And then if you don't put your focus on it and you and it, it literally doesn't exist for you, it does not exist in your world anymore. You've erased it. Right. So, you know, put put your energy into what you want into what you like, like spend your time telling people what you believe, who you are, what you think is good, what are, what are the good solutions, how do we go forward? You know, people, are, people can work out the bad stuff for themselves. It's everywhere. It's easy to work out how we're being manipulated, who the evil people are, what they're doing. That's the easy part, man. What we need is solutions, all right? We need new ways of thinking and seeing the world because how can we see a new world if we don't have new ways of seeing the world? All right. The worst thing that can happen will happen, of course. Why do I feel like I just typed a curse? Well, why is it a curse? Why is death bad? Death is just a doorway, man. I mean, what would you like to be stuck down here for eternity? That's a curse. Um, we're all going to die, yet people are so fearful of dying. It's the only thing that we all have in common, all right? We've all, we all come in here and we're all going to exit here. So you may as well have a good time while you're down here. It, that's it's my opinion, right? <laughs> They're trying to turn us into China communists. Well, China's empty, John, didn't you know? Kelly. Kelly Jones was there, man. There's no people there. There's, there's no proof that, that it's communist. It's just a story. It's just a story. You know, so them trying to... Again, why would you focus on that? 
Like, is that is that where you want to go? Is that the solution you want? You know, so many people talk about they want to be free, yet they don't want to let other people be free. They, they want this new world, right, without constraints and without people ruling them, yet all they talk about are how they're ruled. Like, th- those two things are incompatible. You can't be free if all you talk about is being trapped, right? Because the past plus the present equals the future. So whatever you think about from your past, your thoughts, what's happened to you in in the past, good or bad, and whatever you do today, that is going to equal the future you walk into. So I would say focus on the good things that have happened to you. Bad things happen, yes. Look at them, but but look at them as well. How do I how do I avoid doing that again, right? What's the solution here? And spend your days focusing on better things, on what you want to create, not on what not on what other people are doing that annoy you and what they shouldn't be doing, because the truth is you can't change them. So it's wasted energy. It, it really is. Verity's glad to be alive, man. She's happy with her drinking game. You see. Life is simple. Um, I'll have to start freezing for you soon, Charity, though, so you can take a drink. Right? <laughs> you like that one? All right. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hollow Legs can do a drinking game with you. He'll, he'll drink here under the table, man. He's got hollow. Oh, hollow logs. I'll start reading soon. He might have hollow legs as well. Um, Alex Jones. Yeah, well. You know, he's entertaining, man. I mean, it's all it's all entertainment, right? Like Biden, that dude's funny as. Yet, yet people like think, "Oh my God, he's destroying my life." And they, well, you know, he's also funny. Two ways to look at everything. At least, at least, right? Life is what you make it, and and it's you that's making it. Right? Again, your past and your present equal your future. So you're literally creating your future. You really are. And those people who say, no, you're not, guess what they create? A future they don't want. All right, good thought. Something to think about. Once you realize the soul trap um, wipes your memory, it starts to make sense. Well, who, who said? I don't know. I don't know if there's a soul trap. I've got no proof of that. Um, I'm not trapped. I can tell you that much. I'm not trapped. I'm not. I'm here to experience. That that's it. Like this is the thing. All these thoughts, and I know that they're common thoughts in this community. And you know, people love to point it at. You know, this is the problem, and that's the problem. And we need to fix this. But uh, in my experience, that's not how it works. What you need to fix is you, because that's the only person you can fix. The person looking back at you in the mirror. That's it. Like like I've said a million times. Go out and try and change someone. Come back and tell me how you went because I know how it's going to go. I imagine someone walking up to you and saying, change. All right, don't do that. Do what I want you to do. What's going to happen? Are you going to do it? Of course not. All right, there's, well, who knows how many people there are in the world. Let's say there's 4 billion, right? If the people around you are the problem, you have to go out and change 4 billion people to make your life better. If you're the problem, you only got to change one person. One is doable, one's impossible. Where are you going to put your focus? Where are you going to put your focus? I'm happy almost always. Good, and that's what you should be, right? If you're not happy, find ways to be happy. Find things that make you happy. Learn to enjoy the ride, Scotty boy, indeed. Be thankful. Be thankful for what you do have. You know, like the wor- your worst day like there, there's going to be millions of people who have had whole lives that are infinitely worse, right? So much more pain and struggle. Like if, you've, if you're watching this, if, if you can access the internet, you're, not, you're in a position where you really shouldn't be complaining. Like you're in the top tier of, you know, people in this world at the moment because right? there's people who can't even feed their children. Right, so we got nothing to complain about, man. It's all good. I mean, imagine going, imagine seriously, imagine going to like a country, you know, if if any of this is real, you know, a country like Ethiopia that's in famine and complaining to them. Like seriously, think about that. Just think about that. I mean, 
it's, it's almost sort of ridiculous, right? I mean, imagine going and complaining to someone who's just got so much less than you. Like you would literally be like a god to them. You'd walk in with a, a phone and they'd be like, oh, my God, what is this wizardry? <laughs> and look, what what's that? What's that around that? What? They, they wouldn't even understand what fat is because they can't feed themselves, man. So imagine complaining to those people about your life. Like we really have nothing to complain about and, and we've got so much opportunity and so much we can do, yet so many people just want to sit around and point the finger. And when you point the finger, three pointing back at you, man. Um, we are just you, love. Hello, Plasma Prophet. Yeah, exactly right. Everyone, Everyone's just a mirror of you. This whole place is a reflection. It's good here for us to learn. Enjoy the ride. Nothing left to do but smile, smile, smile. I agree. Like, like this is the thing. And, and people always talk, you know, especially in the last couple of years, you know, they want to get to this, you know, whatever they're calling it, the 5D world or the, the, new, the new world, the new age, whatever, the age of Aquarius. They, they're talking about they want to get somewhere better. But they focus on, on the bad. Like you can't do that. that, that that's, that's an oxymoron. It doesn't work. Just smile, man. Do the best you can do. Enjoy the ride, right? Um, lead to gold from wherever you are. Lead, lead to gold. Lead and lead. How many words do we have that are the same, man? This this spell that they're casting is breaking up. I think. Um, I mean, yeah. It, look, if you if you want to live in a jail, hollow logs, then then, then you can. But I'm not. No, it's not a prison planet for me. I can tell you right now. I'm solutions oriented. Sure, there, there's obstacles, there's there's struggles, there's things that we need to work out. But but they're all, you know, all these failures. They're just mistakes. You know, that's a, that's another spell mistake. But but if you believe it's a prison planet and it's a soul trap, then that's that's going to be your experience. Just understand that you are creating it. You're creating it, like because I can tell you right now, I don't live in a in a prison planet, and I'm not involved in any soul trap. All right. So if you are, then that that's clearly two different realities, right? We're creating different worlds as we go. So you can do that. I would just say choose carefully, because you're you're only you are the one that's going to have to live the repercussions of that. It's only you that's going to have to go through that experience. No one else. And sometimes it, it feels good to be right. Yes, it's a prison planet. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. Ha, ha, ha. You've just created a prison for yourself. A prison for your mind, Neo. Hey, Lorenzo, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yes, I'm ranting a bit again, I think. I don't know how I always end up in this place, ranting about this stuff. Um... Yeah, how boring would it be if we all thought the same way or thanked? <laughs> um, thunk. Yeah, all right. What's the point? What's the point of anything if everyone's the same as you, right? Who wants to live in an echo chamber? Like, come on. Um, all right. I'm, I'm, oh, my God, I'm about an hour behind in comments. I'm going to scroll up a bit here. Nicole S. from the Utah. Utah Saints. You, 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 Utah Saints. Thank you for joining me, us. All of us, 151 of you watching. Thanks for being here. Um, these cities are for you, lol. Which cities? Which cities? Um, right, meow to quote the salty. <laughs> salty cracker. I could go right meow to quote the salty cracker. I don't mind. Yeah, man, salty cracker's fun. Good show. If you need a bit of a laugh, a bit of an update on what's going on in the mad, mad world. 100 Monkey Theory. All right. If you haven't heard the 100th Monkey Theory, check it out. Um, yeah, we don't need everyone to, to change the world. You don't need 100% of the world to change with you. Uh, you, you just need a, a certain percentage. We're not quite sure what that is. And are you talking about? No, the movie wasn't 100 Monkeys, was it? What was that? With Brad Pitt and. Bruce, 10 monkeys, I don't know, monkeys. Yeah, but 100th monkey theory. Um, 
you know, we just we just need enough, and then the whole world's going to change. We just need to get out, you know, the world that we want and that frequency to enough people, and everything changes. And that's the train I'm on, man. That's the train I'm on. Wishing you all a great day of discovery and healing. Thank you. Yeah, freedom starts from within. No trap when you're released to the ether. No, the, 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 there's no trap but the trap you build for yourself, man. I mean, you know, that that's my that's my experience in, in life. And, and I know other people have different experiences, but if I can experience that, well, that means it's at least an option, right? Eckhart Tolle, the man with the, the, the weirdly creepy voice. <laughs> yeah, be present, right? Well, it's his story. He sat in a park for a year or something and was just ecstatically happy to be there just because he was experiencing life. You know, he was just happy to be here. You know, there's, there's another saying that says all of man's problems come from not being able to sit in a room with nothing in it and be completely happy. All right? It's this, it's this wanting other things outside of us to change to make us happy. That's the trap. That's the prison planet. That's the soul trap, right? Wanting others to change to make your life better. Um, 61 now having fun, even in their world. I'm free. Well, it's our world, unless you make it theirs, right? Sure, that, that you know, they are making rules, but, I mean, we don't have to abide by those rules, right? It, it's, it's all, this is, you know, an, an option-based, you know, s- system. You have to opt in. You don't have to, but they, you know, to, to be to be affected by what they do, you have to opt in. Like to be affected by the satanic music pop industry, right? You have to go out and listen. You've got to go buy their records, right? Or records, you know, whatever it is these days, MP3s. You've got to buy tickets to their concerts. You have to go and do something to get yourself involved, right? To, to find out that it's a prison planet so you can live in a prison, prison planet. You have to go and research and find the information that tells you it's a prison planet. This is all opt-in, right? But you don't have to opt-in. You can opt out of everything, right? Even the law, yeah, I know the law, right, and speeding tickets and all this kind of stuff. There's ways around it all, guys, right? And most of it is just what you create, what you create. (laughs) <laughs> there you go. Free your mind and your ass will follow. I agree. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. HWMO Liberty. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, well, this moment is all we have, right? Like you can only be in the now. You can't you can't do something yesterday and you can't do something tomorrow. You can only do it now. And once you've done it, you can't do that same thing exactly again, right? Like that's it. Just, just have fun. Yeah, cat has fun alone. Um, won't ask any more questions about that one. <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing, right? We can all have fun alone. You, you can enjoy your own company, right? Yeah, tragedy is comedy, and comedy is tragedy, right? It's, it's, it's the the Taurus, the Yin Yang, the poles, right? We need polar opposites. If we didn't have bad, how would we know what good was? I mean, think about that. If there was no bad, bad stuff going on, how would you know what was good? How would you say, and if you didn't know what was good, how would you make yourself happy? Like, like we need, and, and also all this, this bad teaches us what we don't want. All the good teaches us what we do want, right? Like it helps us to, to define who we are and what we're here for and what we want. Like w- without the bad, it would be just as a, you know, it'd be just, it would be the same, you know, bad world without the bad, without the, the evil, let's say, as it would without the good, right? Like a world that's just evil is, is pretty much the same as a world that's just good. If, you know, everyone says they want, oh, just good, get rid of all the bad, but believe me, without any struggle, without anything to do, without a way to learn anything, you would be bored stupid to the point of wanting to leave this realm. 
I, you think about it. You, you clearly would. Like, we need that. We need the dark. We need the light. That's why we have night and day. Right? If you just have the day all the time, you, you'd soon be pretty annoyed with the day. And I can tell you what, most of the plants, they'd be leaving this realm. Oh, my God, I'm prattling on again. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I'm getting on my soapbox. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Planet X going to wipe us out. Oh, it will fit through the hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> but transgender aliens going to come save us. All right. Winning. All right. Just wait for the transgender aliens to save us, guys. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, but that's the thing, right? We can look at this any way we want. And, and, and you know, back in the 80s, man, People thought, you know, people were losing it, thinking that they're all going to burn, catch on fire because of the hole in the ozone layer. Um, it's, yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, and uh, Sonaras, yes, has, has many children from Haiti. And um, it's like I was saying before, right? Um, you know, th a lot of th those kids are born into a situation. Like, if you think your life is hard, go and complain to those kids. Go to Haiti, go into one of the orphanages and sit down and tell a six-year-old why your life is so bad. I mean, seriously, right? Like, we need to think about what we're doing here. We really do. Um, Dominican Republic. Yeah. I mean, that, that, clearly there's places, you know, that are better and that are worse. And clearly there's people down here having different experiences. Like I said, we've got to have that or else how do we get perspective? Internet everything has cut my outdoors time by a gazillion percent. Hawaiian guy, Kailua, thanks for being here. Um, we'll get off the internet, dude, <laughs> go for a surf. Um, you shouldn't spend all your time on the internet at all um you know I'm, I'm sure it looks like i spend a lot of time on it you know with videos popping up and all that but seriously i mean a couple of hours a day and that, and this is my work you know well actually with the quickening it might be my three or four hours a day um but ultimately you know it, this is all i it's all about me getting like we're doing a tour now we're taking people out into the world we're going to see these old world buildings so Yes, please don't sit inside on your internet all day, guys. It's not good for you. It's really not. And especially, you know, that's just physically, right? Because we need sun, wind, all this kind of stuff. But but the content, you've got to be careful because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, and uh, have a negative look out on life and they're putting content out. There's other people that you know, are, are paid to put out bad stuff or to misdirect you or to put out fear porn. And there's a lot of bots. They're not even people. They're putting out crap, right? So, so yeah, get outside, you know, you know, see the sun, smell the roses, all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, well, exactly, man. But they won't. But no answers will come from anything. Perspective will come from from things outside of us, but the answers are, they can only come from you. If so, if you're letting people give you answers, they're not answers, man. Not for you anyway. You're being told something. You know, unless you have two points of view, you can't make a decision, right? So if if you know if you're listening to someone like they're the truth, they've got the truth. Well, that's one point of view. You're being told something, and and I would say. Yeah, look out for that, man. Be careful. Um, yeah, man, music can set your heart free. Music is the only thing that bypasses the mind and goes straight to the heart, as they say, right? 12, oh my, 12 monkeys. Oh, my God, I'm so far behind in these comments. Everyone's saying 12 monkeys. Yes, not 100 monkeys. <laughs> uh, Rudolf Steiner has recent thoughts on Yeah, yeah, Rudolf Steiner. Good. There's lots of good people. But again, don't have gurus. Um, you know, everyone, it's just an opinion. It's just stuff just to think about it. If it, you know, resonates, not that I like these buzzwords, but if things make sense to you, then then take them up and put them into practice. See how you go. You know, there's, but there's lots of people, 
Like that's how, through my teens, that, that's where I got all my information from, right? It was people like Jim Rohn and, and Rudolf Steiner and all these other people that were talking, you know, differently than everyone around me was talking. So they were giving me different ideas, different perspectives, different things to think about. But but I didn't ever get on one of them and go, oh, my God, that person's got the truth. I'm going to do exactly what they say. It was all just information for me to ponder and to try out. And, and that's what I've done for my whole life, right? Everyone's a teacher and everyone's a student, right? You've got something to teach everyone you meet and you've also got something to learn from everyone you meet if you let yourself. Um, all right, I've been prattling on for about half an hour, man. I'm feeling like I'm on a soapbox or something. <laughs> um, so I think I might... Um, yes, so where'd you go? Lorenzo, hey, mate, good to see you here. Um, that sounds like the serpent. What? What's the serpent? What What does, does that sound like a serpent? Um, what sounds like the serpent? I mean, the serpent is a story, man. It's a story. It's a story. That's it. You can't prove any of that stuff's true. You can't believe prove there was a serpent in a garden called Eden and, and all, you know, all this kind of stuff. I, I would say many snakes are bad, right? Because if you step on them, they'll bite you and, you, and you'll get either really sick or you you may be unlived. But also, many many snakes are good, man. A lot of snakes eat eat rats and mice, and, and they they you know keep your house free of vermin, right? Um, clean out the chook coop and stuff. I mean, they may eat some eggs, but you know, every, nothing is good or bad. But thinking makes it so. Right, it's us. It's us that make things good or bad, and it's not. It's not that they're good or bad. Right, what's good to one person can be bad to another. Right, think about war. You know, to some people it's good, right, because they're keeping the the evil people out of their country. But the people that are getting blown up that aren't actually evil, it's it's not good to them. Everything, nothing's good or bad. It's all perspective. Thinking makes it so. So there you go. With that. I shall bid you all adieu. Um, thank you for spending some time with me. I'll, I'll get back. Um, I mean, the internet seems to be going all right now, but we did have some issues before. That's why I sort of had, had to um, halt the, the viewing pleasure of the audience, the pictures of Perth. But I'll, I'll get that set up and I'll do another, another live in the next day or so. Um, and, and we'll get through the rest of those because I also had some other stuff I wanted to look at. Um, I had some old shots of Seattle are very interesting and i've also got some pictures uh from the uh las lajas is that how i say it la ha la hey las lajas uh, that that building in colombia which i did a video on someone um pointed me to con some construction photos right so we'll have a look at them and we'll see see what we what we think um are they real or not? Was was it constructed recently? I think they say 1908 to 1940s, something like that. Um, so we'll check those out as well in the next live. So, oh, pants on the ground. How are you going? Thanks for joining. Love you too, mate. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you to all the channel members. Like we've got Cat14, Don Marie Far Far uh, Farrell. Sorry. Um, I saw a few other members in before. New S Reset. Thank you all. I do appreciate your support. Thank you to um, the mods. We have Sayonara is a mod. And to Joy now. Oh, hello to Joy. How are you going? Didn't see you there. Thanks for being here. And, of course, Hippie Shake, as always. Thank you to all the mods. And thank you to everyone who supports this channel, um, who helps me out. I really do appreciate it. And believe me, I've had, I've had so much support and help with this channel over the last few years it, it's ridiculous but i really do appreciate you all um if you would like to support me at all that you'll find links below and if you want to come and join us in mulaney this weekend coming not not tomorrow but the next weekend the 15th and 16th you'll find links below and if you want to come to tartaria all right check out the old world in the balkans and end up at the bosnian pyramid there are still a very few seats left and the link as well um, also is below. So go and check them out. And thank you for being here and listening to me rant and ramble. Um, hope you enjoyed the show. Like I said, I'll, I'll be back in the next couple of days um, 
and, and we'll finish the show that, that I'd planned. Um, but I do appreciate you all as I'm looking for my my out, outro clip. Where's it gone? Sorry. I should have this set up, shouldn't I? Da, 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 that one, that one. Ah, that one there. Okay, I found it. All right. So thank you. Appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. Stay awesome. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.